DNA is the very fiber of our being. We can learn a lot about ourselves by examining it. So should we be saving our DNA for future generations? Or is the idea of DNA reproduction still just a little too sci-fi? John Shumway has more on what could become the wave of the future. To most of us, our depth of knowledge and perhaps fear about DNA reproduction comes from the big screen. And it's about to get rekindled with the debut of Jurassic World. Reproduction from DNA material. Is it really possible? You can create individuals uh, by transporting somebody's DNA into an egg and fertilizing it. Far from perfected, but who knows about the future? Which brings us to the question that Andrew Weckman faced when his dad died last fall. Would you like a sample of his DNA harvested? I uh, wasn't too sure uh, about it. The question was asked by funeral home director Frank Perman. They want that for genealogy. They want to uh, know what is in their medical history. And the DNA has it. Perman is the first funeral home director in western Pennsylvania to offer DNA harvesting and one of only a few in the United States. It's much more popular in Canada. It is weird. I heard of ashes, but not DNA. There's a whole bunch of different advances in science and everything, so I think there's probably a lot of possibilities in the future. Reproducing someone might be a bit far-fetched right now, but Dr. Alec Reykjavich says... I can see some uses for it. One use could be if there is a mysterious illness in the family and uh, no one knows what it's there for or what, what's causing it. At the McGee Women's Research Institute Reproductive Genetics Department, the world of DNA is a world of possibility. You are banking on future discoveries that will help give more meaning to all of these letters and therefore give also more meaning to the family. Not just rare diseases, but simple diseases like, you know, why should I get a heart attack at 55 instead of 85 and so on. So the idea of saving DNA material is interest peaking and could be life saving. Who knows for the next generation, the generation after that, that that information could be good. Which is why Andrew gave the approval to harvest his dad's DNA. From those results, I would take um, take heed of what they would say because it could be warnings as to what could happen to me. Taking the sample, it turns out, is a very simple process. One is to pull some hair and make sure you get the hair follicles and then the follicle, the, the bulb at the base of a hair has DNA in it. And the second one is to take a, a sterile swab the side the and mouth. swab the inside of the mouth. That's it. For $295, those samples are harvested and sent to a company in Canada and you get back a small vial. And in it is the DNA sample and it's attached to an inert material that looks like salt. Dr. Reykjavich says if you do save DNA, also try to hold on to as many medical records as possible. Andrew has his dad's medical charts and keeps the vial of DNA in a box with the records to be analyzed somewhere down the road. Yeah, I'm not sure how far science can go with this, so hopefully we'll see how that goes. And then as time goes on, the advancement might also um, disclose more information. You know, there is truth to that. Uh, I think that our technologies keep improving. But that future cannot be explored without a piece of the past. And Andrew especially wanted this sample because his dad was adopted, so there's no family history known prior to his dad. Now, the sample itself doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything. You can just stick it in a drawer if you want. And according to the company, it's good indefinitely. That's hmm. wild. So is this kind of becoming standard procedure when someone dies to be, you know, ask the family if they want this? Well, it's interesting because it's kind of catching on more in the United States. In Canada, it's much more common to be asked this question. Frank Perman's the only one doing it here, but he's getting calls from other funeral home directors here in Pittsburgh who know yeah. he's doing it, and he's been making house calls around to take samples for other people. So it, it's growing. It's getting yeah. to be a lot more common. Fascinating. Very interesting. Thank, right. you, John. Thank you, John.